how do you avoid GPT-4 from being hacked or jailbroken? Uh, there's a lot of interesting ways that people have done that, like uh, with token smuggling <laughs> or other methods like Dan. You know, when I was like a, a kid, basically, I, I got I worked once on jailbreaking an iPhone, the first iPhone, I think. And I thought it was so cool. And I will say it's very strange to be on the other side of that. <laughs> You're now the man. <laughs> kind of sucks. Um, is that is some of it fun? How much of it is a security threat? I mean, what? How much do you have to take it seriously? How is it even possible to solve this problem? Where does it rank on the set of problems? I just keep asking questions, prompting. We want users to have a lot of control and get the models to behave in the way they want within some very broad bounds. And I think the whole reason for jailbreaking is right now, we haven't yet figured out how to like give that to people. And the more we solve that problem, I think the less need there'll be for jailbreaking. Yeah, it's kind of like piracy gave birth to Spotify. <laughs> people don't really jailbreak iPhones that much anymore. Yeah. And it's gotten harder for sure, but also like you can just do a lot of stuff now. Just like with jailbreaking, I mean, there's a lot of hilarity that ensued.